Hey, everybody, it's Dr. Karen. I just noticed my lighting was kind of low, so I turned up my light right there. Um, I am here with your weekly forecast for the week of November 14th to the 20th, so Sunday to Saturday. I have my Cosmic Cat Wisdom Cards, and I was inspired to pull these out and use these all month because in my monthly forecast, I had two cat cards come up, the African Lioness and the African lion, very different messages from the two of them. And they kind of sandwiched the horse card, which also has um, another message. So together, that monthly forecast, those cards really spoke to me about uh, perhaps being a little extra busy this month, but um, remind, reminding us to lead with our heart, to be centered in our heart so that we can really experience how great we are and what we are capable of and that we're capable of more than we probably realize. So um, with those, that big cat energy <laughs> um, for the month of November, I just wanted to follow that energy and work with this deck, which I love. And in case you don't know about it, it's the Cosmic Cat Wisdom Cards. There are 60 cards in this deck. There's this great book that um, I think really has the ability to take us even deeper and to get a whole other deeper level of meaning from the cards based on the reflection questions and just the summary of what the card, um, the summary about the card that's in that book. So I just think this is a fantastic deck and I just love, love, love using it. So I'm just, and look at all those pictures. I mean, they're just amazing. And that, that card's come up twice now, just as I've been, um, what does that say? I can't read it backwards. Release. Uh, interesting. Um, so that family card has come up twice as I've been shuffling the cards. I wonder if it's going to come up when I actually pull the card. I'm going to pull one card for this week, November 14th to the 20th. And I'm feeling this one. It ended up not being that family card, but it is fullness and um, give thanks. And it's like a week early here in the US because next week is going to be Thanksgiving for us, but it's never too early to be grateful and to give thanks. So this card, um, and, and what a rich card, like when you look at that picture, just look at the contentment exuded by that cat and the fullness of life. And, you know, stopping to smell the flowers and really reveling in that moment. So um, what a great reminder as we get ready here in the U.S. for Thanksgiving Day and giving thanks. Um, this is a great reminder for us at any time of the year to experience the fullness of life and be grateful for all the blessings that we have, whatever form they may come in, human, animal, financial connections, opportunities, conversations, activities, beautiful landscapes, beautiful scenery, um, you know, any activities that we're doing, that, that attitude of gratitude can just turn anything into a blessing. And that's what this card is saying to me. And also, you know, the fullness really speaks to me about um, how fulfilling our lives are if we let them be. And, and sometimes it's just a matter of recognition of the fullness. But also that fullness really speaks to my uh, forecast for the month, which was about having the fullness of life and being very busy and doing a bunch of different things, wearing a bunch of different hats. So that's another way to think about fullness is, is in the richness of the variety of opportunities or activities or roles that we have. So um, there's a lot of layers here to this card, which is no surprise because Randy and uh, Barb are such deep thinking people, such deep heart centered people that, of course, they would bring the richness to this card that is there. Um, so fullness and give thanks. What a, a great reminder to be right here right now in the fullness of this moment, grateful for the present, 
for the gift that it is. I'm going to leave it there, but I invite you, if you have anything to add or a different interpretation of the card, put a note in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and have a conversation around what this card means to all of us. And maybe through that, we can even go deeper and be more grateful and have more fullness in our lives. So have a great week. I will look forward to connecting with you here next week. Bye, everybody.